Hey yeah. guys! What's up? So in this video, we are actually on a cruise. This is my first cruise ever. Are you this excited? Is, are you excited? I'm really excited. This is my husband's second cruise. We're here with um, my husband's family. Um, and then my husband's older brother and his brother's wife. Mm -hmm. Friends are here with us as well. So we are currently just chilling in our room. Yeah. Um, we just ate some food. Then we like walked around the cruise a little bit. We are now in our room waiting for our luggage to come and then we're gonna go to dinner soon and a show tonight. So we're just gonna kinda tag you guys along on our cruise and our adventures. We're on Royal Caribbean, Allure of the Seas. Mm -hmm. We will do a little tour right now of our room. We don't have a um, room with a window. We just have a room like this. As soon as you walk into the door, right here is the bathroom. And then you just go in, the shower is right here, the toilet is right there, and then the sink and the mirror. And then we have like some storage right here with little bars on them so they don't fall. Um, and then some also space down there. And then right here is a floor length mirror, which I love when hotels or a cruise for this case has floor length mirrors. I need to look at my outfits. And then right here next to it is this little area for our clothes. So once our suitcases get here, because they are currently still boarding everybody, boarding everything on, but I'm gonna put all of our clothes in here. And then we have our bed with little side tables and little lights. Um, also, this is pretty convenient because right here we have this spot where we can hang our bags and some more little storage spots. And then you go over here and this is where our couch is little coffee table little desk area which also i could do my makeup there in the mornings oh, yeah, it'll be really nice to do my makeup here because we don't have natural light in here so that's nice that they have this in here and then our tv and some more storage down here okay we got our suitcases in we changed our outfits so we're gonna do outfit of the day this is my husband's outfit. He's wearing this shirt from Zara. These pants from, I think Target. They're like, show them in the mirror. They're like jogger style. And then his New Balance 550s. And then my tank tops from Zara. I just have a black tank top on. This sweater is from H&M. These pants I found at the thrift store, but I believe they're Lou and Gray brand linen pants. And then my shoes are from Free People. And my necklace is from Made by Mary, with a little mountain on it. We are on our way to our first dining. We're going to dinner, and then after that we'll watch a show. So we'll show you guys. So this is day one of our dinner with the family and friends, but I'm gonna show you what we got. I'm gonna flip you around. So we got the, I got the fried chicken. The wifey got the steak. How is it? Everyone else, say what's up to the vlog. Yeah, woo! Everyone, my mom got the steak. My dad probably got the steak at the prime rib. But yeah, we're about to enjoy this. Looks so good. And woo! He is best waiter on here but yeah everything's been awesome but yeah So we did 
a lot last night. Last night we watched the show, Mamma Mia. I'm me and Gay both thought it was all right. We don't really like the storyline, but it's the only play that they have offered on the cruise. Um, and then we this morning got breakfast, took a like trivia class on not trivia class, but a trivia game show on Disney, Disney and then we got some a hot dog and some ice cream. And watched the belly flopping competition. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty entertaining, pretty fun. Yeah, and now we came back to the room, took a little nap because Gabe's head was hurting. My head was hurting a little bit too. And tonight is dress up or whatever, dress in your best. So we're going to do another outfit of the day. Um, so Gabe is just wearing this shirt. I think his whole outfit's from Amazon actually. Um, so this, and these are from Amazon. He's wearing my Air Force Ones. And a belt and my outfit uh this orange dress it's like a tank top dress or a slip dress whatever you want to call it is from the thrift store but it's from express this little sweater on top since it is chilly it's like in the 60s um is from this boutique called shop sadie and sage and then my sandals again are from free people and this bag is also from the thrift store so that's my outfit so right now we're in the area called Central Park. It's my family. My beautiful wife is right there. Look at it. So beautiful, beautiful. Um, we're in Central Park. It's like a small park. It's pretty, it got a lot of trees, so it makes you feel like you're walking in a park. I'll show you guys. So this is what it looks like. Basically this is a walkway. It's got a bunch of restaurants on that side and then all along that side um so cool to how they did this layout that's what it looks like you got the trees over there and then the rooms over there everyone is staying at and then in this middle right here is a it's a bar that rises levels very slowly though so there's people sitting there right now and yeah people are getting off right now other than that it's pretty fun though and then over here, I'm going to show you where my brother and dad are playing chess with each other. Rocking the Nikes, always, as always. This is my brother and my pops playing some chess right now. Very focused. Okay, it's day three. We are about to head out to Johnny Rocket's breakfast. And then we are in the Bahamas today, Nassau, Bahamas. So we're gonna go out for a little bit and then come back on the ship, do a few more things. And then tomorrow we're at Coco Cay, Bahamas. But anyways, outfit of the day, day three. I got this outfit set from a spot in Disney Springs. It's called American Threads and it's just a linen outfit set. And then since it's chilly, it's only in the 50s right now, I just have like this little thing on. It's actually my beach cover up, but it's from the thrift store. And then this is just like a tank top like this with like shoulder pads over here. And then my shoes again, free people. My husband's outfit is, um, both of them are Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch, sorry. Abercrombie and Fitch linen pants. Abercrombie and Fitch, um, textured button down and then he just has a white tee underneath with my air force ones on <laughs> comfortable there we go so we just ate breakfast at johnny rockets we are now <laughs> we are now off the ship um here is our ship right here by the way so oh wait, well now we're all this, on. We'll show you guys. Here is our ship. It's so big. Crazy. But we are just walking through the little platform, whatever this is, and the water going on the boardwalk. We're just gonna walk around the Bahamas a little bit. Yep. We're probably not gonna do too much because everything <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> we're probably not gonna do too much because everything is like a huge cost extra. And we're already doing um, something tomorrow when we go to Coco Cay, Bahamas. Yes. So this is our ship right there. 
Royal Caribbean, the Lure of the Seas. Then we've got two more cruise ships. We've got the Carnival here and then another Carnival here, but this is kind of like the boardwalk for all the boats to dock. And then people walk around and you see people getting off right here. And then out there's more of Bahamas, but the water is pretty beautiful. It's very teal bluish, very clear. So yeah, super nice weather as well. So this is what we're walking right now. All the shops. It's beautiful outside. <laughs> so we're walking back on the ship. My wife, she got something from one of the stores or markets. I got a Turkish towel. They dry really fast. They're cute. They can be a beach towel, a bath towel, a blanket. Maybe you can be like a baby. See you guys back on the cruise. We're gonna do some adventure things. Yeah, we're gonna get some adventure things. I think we're gonna be doing rock climbing was one of them. Maybe zip lining and then board games. We'll get all that. Day. We're back on the ship, changed our clothes, I fixed my hair, put them in these little pigtails, and we're just going to do some things on the ship that are like activities, activities and stuff. We just put on our uh, chill outfits. But we are currently looking at a view of the Bahamas. I will say that when we were down there, we didn't see this view, and when you're on the top of a cruise ship, the view is really pretty. So here's the view. The water is so blue like I literally can't get over how blue it is it's not even this blue in Florida and then right over here is where we were down like in that area when we were walking and the view is so pretty and then here's us on the cruise let's show, let's show, let me show you around yeah so over here is where Flowrider is where you can learn how to surf <laughs> And then right here is where you can get on zip line. So flow rider is like right here and then zip line is right here. You can go on the zip line across. They have a basketball, tennis, pickleball court right here. They have pickleball rackets and all of that and basketball. So we might end up playing one of the games, maybe basketball or pickleball. Right now, we're gonna see what Babe's basketball skills are. <laughs> and then over here is the view. Uh, deck six. That's the view of deck six. That's where we ate uh, breakfast at Johnny Rockets today. Go boat. Go blue. How you guys feel, huh? How was it? Amazing? Yeah, was, was it scary? Was my feet are shaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your whole body. No, my, my feet are shaking. But like when you get to the edge, she yeah. tells you to put your feet on the edge and then they open the door and they just yeah. go. Sweet. Oh, I have a beautiful time. The weather's beautiful. I'm relaxing. No more can I ask. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Beautiful vacation, right? Yes.
did on the left side was the easiest. Yeah. But then I only got halfway. Then Gabe did the middle, which is the yeah. medium. And then he made it. Uh -huh. Then he did the easy one after that. Okay. He said the easy one was harder than the middle one. Really? The grips, the grips, were, the better grips were better on the middle. So okay. Then I did the middle and then I made it. Good girl. Uh, How was it, Gabriel? So after we did rock wall climbing and zip lining, we did like a trivia where you have to guess the song, but every song it has like a color in the name of it. So like for example, Yellow by Coldplay or Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. Um, stuff like that. So then we came back to our room because we have nothing really to do until dinner. We did do a lot this morning. It's only two or almost three and I feel like we did a lot. But Anyways, I forgot to mention to you guys that a few days ago, like not yesterday, but the day before, or was it yesterday? Just oh, it was yesterday, sorry. Um, me and my husband were walking to breakfast, and I swear I saw Carlos Pinavega. If anybody knows who that is, he, he's like the actor from Big Time Rush, um, and he's married to Alexa Pinavega, and she is in Spy Kids. And I follow them on Instagram because they're like Christians. I love watching their stuff, seeing what they post. And I was walking to breakfast and I like look over by the pool and I see this guy who looks like Carlos Penavega, but he had sunglasses on and a hat on and I didn't see Alexa anywhere nearby. So I didn't go and say hi because I wasn't 100% sure. Plus he was talking to two other people. So I didn't want to interrupt. But I swear, like I was like 90% sure it was him. Think about one word. Choir. That's what I was trying to think of. One more, one more. One more try and concentrate on the Yeah. 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 I'll show you in a second and it's super windy and chilly so we'll probably only be out here for a few minutes just to look at the view and then go back on the cruise which is a little bit disappointing but life happens and I'll get another chance to go jet skiing another day. So we ended up not being able to jet ski which is a little bit disappointing but also since we live in florida i'm sure there's plenty of spots where we can jet ski in florida um so that's one of our bucket list items or bucket list things to do for 2024 i realized that i haven't really been showing like much about like what happens on a cruise this is my first experience on a cruise by the way my makeup and is not all the way done and my bangs are pushed back but um we came in the room i took a shower did my hair and i'm doing my makeup currently but i wanted to talk about a few takeaways on what i learned on a cruise so whether you guys are planning a cruise for allure of the seas for royal caribbean or you've never been on a cruise before here are a few takeaways that i will take away from it number one if you plan on going on a cruise in January and you want your cruise to be very beachy and warm and go in the pools and the ocean I wouldn't say January is the best time to come and the reason why is because in January it still gets chilly in the Bahamas it still gets chilly in Florida 
and a lot of people like just think like oh florida's warm all year round or the bahamas is warm all year round but it's actually been in like the 50s and 60s most of this trip and it got to like the low 70s sometimes like during the peak of the day but it still was pretty chilly most of the time which made it pretty chilly to go swimming it made us not be able to go jet skiing today um and obviously if you're going in the summer there could be the chance of rain because it rains a lot in the summer in florida and probably the bahamas too because it's not too far away from florida um and it might get a little bit more crowded in the summer so i'm not really sure this is my first time going on a cruise like i said so this is my only time i can really say the second thing is that you do have to pay for gratuity for the uh the people who clean your room the people who serve you up uh, for dinner and all of that and you it does like charge you $18 per person per day um, as an extra add-on so uh, it's also really nice though because all of the food at least most of the food is part of the cruise so you basically feel like you're eating free food all the time you can get free food or food anytime you want they have a pizza place they have a hot dog place they have a buffet and then they have like the nice dinners that we've been eating every night that we got a few videos of the other thing is that elevators get crowded really easily and sometimes you have to wait a while to for your elevator to come to your floor since these uh cruises have like 17 floors there's a lot of people constantly doing things on these cruises which makes the elevators constantly full so um sometimes you're waiting you're on floor five and the elevators are all the way up on floor 16 and you're waiting for them to come down so if you have reservations for dinner or reservations to go out on the days where you are at the location you're at make sure you Put in time to wait for elevators because they do take a while the next thing is that royal caribbean has an app that you get from the very beginning of your cruise if you don't pay for wi-fi which we didn't the only way that you can communicate to people that you're on the cruise with is through the app messages so we're all in different rooms so we have to communicate on the app and it's actually been really helpful it's really nice to like have the app because you can check the schedule every day of what's going on like there might be trivia at three o'clock that you want to go to or you might want to watch a show that night and you can like schedule everything on the app the app is like really convenient we've been checking it multiple times a day to decide what we want to do um it's been really fun i also will say that there's a few things that we wanted to do that we weren't able to do because we didn't schedule it on the app which i didn't really know um but one of the things we wanted to do was ice skating they have ice skating on the ship and it got sold out because everyone scheduled it before we scheduled it um so we aren't able to go but there's a lot of things we were still able to do like rock wall climbing is free for all depending on like what time they're open so yesterday they opened at two or one o'clock we got in line um and were able to rock wall climb right away and same with the zip lining they opened at one they're open for like sometimes three hours sometimes four hours sometimes eight hours you just have to check the schedule so the app is really helpful Yeah!